In our previous class, we had seen how to sort the data in a particular table in our RTF template based on the condition like ascending or descending sorting order condition. We had seen that how we can sort this code combination ID based on the descending sort order. Suppose you might get a question like why we have to display always n number of rows in each of the page. What if we want a logic wherein we want to just show a particular set of records or the particular set of rows in a table in each page. For demonstration purpose, what we will do is we will show only 5 rows in a table in each page and if there are more number of rows, we will break the page and go over to the next page. So, we will achieve this in this class. If you see, there is this for loop that is end starting over here G1. If you go to the advanced for each start. Now, coming to the for each end, here we need to add a condition wherein we have to tell break the page whenever the for each count crosses 5. So, in order to achieve this use case, we have to use a function that is this one. It says if position, so position of is nothing but the XSLT syntax that is to get the count of the current for loop. Since we are using the for each loop, position of will tell what is the current counter of the loop or the index. So, when the first time for each runs, like when it is iterating over the G1 record, it is telling position as 1, next 2, 3, 4 and 5. The moment it hits 5, what we are telling is, we are adding this attribute wherein we are saying break the page to the attribute. We will copy this from here. So, this is the modulus function we are using. Go over to the document and before this for each, we have to just paste this. Click on OK. Click on save and now we have to click on PDF. Here if you see, we are getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in one page. Next, if we scroll down, we are getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in another page. Now, you will get a question like we are getting the header in one of the page that is in the first page and we don't get header in other pages. We will fix that. In order to do that, we have to just select this and right click and table properties. Go over to the rows. Here we have to check mark repeat as header row at the top of each page. Click on this and click on OK. Let me just save this and again click on this PDF. Now here if you see we are getting the header for a column in each page and we are dividing the PDF into multiple pages whenever the count of record hits 5. So like this we can create multiple pages based on the condition. So, in this case, we have told that whenever the count is 5, we have to break. But in your case, you can break based on some specific condition or the data.